Now, let me say the, the question of the week. How do you know that you are converted? How do you know that you are a Christian? We can give lots of wrong answers. We can say, I was baptized, I go to church, I'm a good person, uh, I signed a form for Jesus, I went forward, I made a profession of faith. None of that gives you certainty that you are converted. So as uh, you know, I like reading a man just now called Thomas Brooks. And Brooks asks this question. Uh, he has 23 different points, so I'm not going to give you them all, but I've summarized them in this way. How do you know that you are a Christian? You know you are a lost sinner, number one. Number two, you know you cannot save yourself. If you think you can save yourself, you're not a Christian. Number three, you know that angels or humans cannot save you. If you're relying on others to save you, you're not a Christian. Number four, you know that you need a savior to, live, to deliver you from the judgment to come. You will not be able to stand before God and say, well, I did my bit. Number five, you know there is no possibility of being saved except through Jesus Christ, the almighty savior. Jesus is the only one sent by God, anointed, appointed, fitted for this work of salvation. If you think he's just one of many, you're not a Christian. Number six, you know that Christ has paid for all your sin, that he's freely offered to all sinners such as us. You know that you are invited. Number seven, because Christ is my only hope and only good and only savior, I am sincerely willing to receive the Lord Jesus Christ in a matrimonial covenant. Now, what Brooks means by matrimonial covenant is this, it is like getting married. It's saying, I do to Jesus. It's saying, yes, to Jesus. It's saying, I'm willing to take him for my savior and my friend. I'm willing to divorce all others, forsaking all others, without exception or reservation. I'm willing to take him for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. Lord, where you go, I will go. I'm willing to receive him now as prophet, priest, and king on his terms. And then beautifully, Brooks finishes up by saying, I do freely consent to be really Christ, to be presently Christ, to be holy Christ, to be only Christ, to be eminently Christ, and to be forever Christ. How do you know you're a Christian? Because you have thrown everything onto Jesus Christ. Nothing on yourself, nothing on anyone else, nothing on the church everything on Christ. It's all you've got. And for me, in the, in the darkest, darkest moments, that is the most beautiful and extraordinary thing. Thou, art, thou O Christ, art all I have. You're all. And I would say this to you. If you cannot say that, do not hide behind your baptism. Do not hide behind your church membership. Do not hide behind your religion. Do not hide behind your good works. What do you think of Christ? Is he your all or he's nothing? You cannot have a part Christ. 